I want to show you how easy it is in Houdini to take a character and get it animated in minutes. Plus, if you watch the whole video, you'll see how to load in 3D models, add materials, light and render all the way using USD in Houdini. So what we can do is drop down Tommy, a test geometry character in Houdini, then transform him by 100 and write him out as an OBJ file. Let's hop on over to Mixamo, a site that has a library of custom animations that people have already submitted. And something that's truly remarkable about Mixamo is you have the ability to simply drag your character OBJ file, rig it with a couple clicks, and then you're able to use the entire library of different animations. Of course, it's not technically perfect, but it works for a lot of use cases. Once you've picked out your animation, you can simply download the FBX file. Make sure that you make the frame rate 24 FPS if that's what you're going for. Then back in Houdini, what you can do is import that file with an FBX character import node. After that, simply drop down a bone deform node and you're good to go. Your character is now animated all from just a couple clicks. Now, if you're interested in learning how to take this character and render him through USD and LOPS, keep watching. So what I'm gonna do is basically import this character into a, another geometry node and then I'm going to rename the name attribute at the primitive level to path. This way when we bring it into LOPS, which is a USD context, those path attributes will then separate the geometry how we would like it. It'll come in handy for assigning materials later. So let's go ahead and do that and then finally I'm going to put a null object and an out node in order to then reference that into LOPS. So now if we go over to our stage context, which is LOPS, we can then import our SOP path, which is our LOPS Tommy reference. And we can see that in our scene graph, we have those path attributes that are now imported. So when we wanna do materials later, we'll be good to go. Next, what I wanna do is simply drop down a camera, find a good position, and then we'll throw in some lights. And then if you tab in the Karma node, it will drop down a Karma render settings and then a USD render ROP. And basically this will come at the end of your node stream where we could set the camera resolution in the Karma render settings. And lastly, I added an extra light. So once you have your little setup going on, from there, if you want to make sure you can select different materials, all you got to do is drop the material library lop, and then inside there you can create a material X builder. I'm going to name this close. Dive inside here, and I'm just going to change the color to red to make sure that it's all working. Then drop down an assign material lop, and from there you want to use the primitive path that's specified in your USD scene graph. So I'm going to drop my tank top and my pants over to the assign material node, and from there you can then select your desired material. Then in the Karma settings, I'm gonna change mine to XPU so it can utilize my GPU and CPU. And make sure lastly that if you renamed your camera in the Karma render settings that you specify which camera that you wanna render with. Then I'm gonna do a quick test in the M play to make sure everything's working before a final render. And for a final check, I wanna make sure I render with motion blur on the character. So what I need to do is jump back into SOPS, drop down a trail and make sure it computes velocity on the moving character. Then that should propagate back into LOPS and I make sure that I'm rendering with motion blur. And if we do a quick test, we can see the difference and now we are good to go to set off our render. Now, if you've watched this until now, I would consider subscribing. You'll probably like the content that I'm making. And if you want, you could add some comments or likes. I don't know, do the whole YouTube thing. Thanks.